Hello and welcome back to the Aftermatch. Today we're here at Meadow Lane for Notts County versus Yeovil Town. So yes, welcome to Meadow Lane where there'll be a huge attendance today thanks to Notts County's Football for a Fiver event. For those of you who don't know, Notts County play in the National League, the fifth division of English football. However, this is far from where they should be and that's quite evident just by looking at their ground which is in fact the biggest in the National League. Notts County were established in 1862, meaning they predate the FA itself and one of the 12 founding members of the Football League. However, in 2019, Notts dropped into non-league for the first time in their 160-year history. Ever since then, they've been aiming to get back into League 2, which is by no means an easy feat. This year, though, they're heading in the right direction. They currently sit top of the table, but with Wrexham breathing down their necks, a win today against a struggling Yeovil side could prove to be crucial. With that being said, let's talk to the fans from both sides to see how they are feeling ahead of the game. Okay, so I'm here with the Yeovil fan. First of all, what's your name? It's Matt. My name's Stefan from Rotherham. Right. So how long did it take you to get here today? Uh, we left at 8 o'clock this morning. Um, and yeah, caught the trains, one change at Birmingham, and then straight over to, to Nottingham. So. so you're feeling confident after your long travel? <laughs> Not really. We're struggling down the bottom end of the table, but new manager, got a couple of new players, a bit of confidence back in the team. So yeah, we should be a bit better today. Uh, not really, I think we're just uh, hoping to, since we've got a new manager, just hopefully get a draw, maybe nil-nil, pick up some points and then build from there at the moment. We've not really been consistent lately. Albeit at home, you seem to do well against the top teams, near the top. I mean, you've got points against Wrexham, Solihull Moors, Eastleigh. Uh, so you, does that maybe make you feel a little bit more confident? Yeah, we, we've got a problem with defending. Like, so we let a goal in, we've got no confidence to get a goal. He's signed another striker, good midfield player. So as long as we attack and we play our wingers wide, I think we'll be better. Um, new managers come in and change the formation, change the way we play. We're not going to press the ball. We're not going to put you under pressure. And your third will drop back in, like soak up, get the ball, hit you on a break. So, so you've got two new wide players on loan. Could they be the ones to supply the fish up front? Yeah, absolutely. Like he's, what he's been doing, he's been dropping deeper and deeper, coming to get the ball. He'll be able to stay up front and we'll play the two wide guys. Um, Charlie Wakefield's injured. So disappointing. Um, he's a really good winger, but yeah, we'll play the two wide guys, fish down the front. Well, we're hoping so. We can't say for anything yet. Um, they're obviously on loan, so we, we don't really know yet. We're still there's still a lot going on. Uh, well, backstage with the owners and that. So we're hoping to get some more people in actually. Yeah. Uh, so obviously, just ten years ago, you're in the championship. Where did it all go wrong? It was the old owners. It really was. Um, they were just more bothered about getting money for themselves rather than putting it back into the club and now we've uh, obviously sold the stadium to the council as well so it's, it's all going downhill but hopefully we can pick ourselves up. I'm here with some Notts County fans here, uh, what's your name? My name's John. Thomas. Weston. Nathan. Yes, okay so do you come here often? Uh, we do now I would say but uh, I used to follow Notts right through the 60s when they used to be in the 4th division, I used to follow them all over the country. Um, so I've seen a lot of Dan's and uh, also seen a lot of ups when they have went into the Division 1, which is classed as a Premier League now. Um, and I've started to bring my grandson this, uh, this season and he's thoroughly enjoying uh, coming and watching uh, yeah. Notts County again, yeah. yeah. So what's your favourite part about coming to the games? I just like watching them, seeing them win. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, often enough. So obviously we're hoping for a big crowd today. Uh, football for a five has ensured that I've got a lot of people coming. Do you think that's something the club should be looking to do more of? You know, get get these big crowds, especially you know the support for a title charge. Or do you think it's a bit of a novelty? Would it wear off if you kept doing it? I think it's uh, it's great actually because it, it's attracting a lot of um, support from people that have not been to watch Notts County before, um, and I know quite a few that are turning up today. And obviously, if they enjoy what they see they're going to want to come back, you know, so um, the one thing I do think Notts County do very well compared to other football clubs is that in the family stand, uh, people like uh, Thomas here can come and 
play football with the coaches inside the ground every week when the home matches and we do lots to entertain the kids which um, I think is brilliant uh, compared to other football clubs and when you tell other people about it they're, they're amazed you know and I think it's it's a, a terrific fan base that they're, yeah. that they're getting. Yeah. Definitely be in the crowds here, won't it? Definitely. Yeah. So yeah. do you not think it being a novelty at my wear off and might become less effective over time? Um, probably. It's, it's hard to say, but if you did this like every few, every so often, it'll, it'll draw the crowds in, like and get bigger attendance. Yeah. I think. What yeah. about yourself? Uh, yeah, well, I think every time we've done it, um, I think we've won it every time we've done it actually. Yeah. And uh, that's obviously a good thing because the new fans that come, hopefully they can stay. Yeah. Um, so obviously, should on paper be a comfortable result today. Obviously, Yeovil are quite near the bottom, but obviously anything can happen in football. That's football. And uh, they've um, they've had some good results. They've got points off Wrexham, Solihull Moors, Eastleigh. Um, could they do the same today or are you feeling too confident? Absolutely, you know, if you, I think if you go out there with the wrong uh, frame of mind, it's very hard if you go behind to try and raise your game. Um, so I think you've got to be on top of your game when you come out there today. Uh, you can't be overconfident, you've got to believe in yourself uh, and take the game as it comes. But. Yes, football is a very funny game. You can be on the cosh for 90 minutes, they can have one break and you can go away losing. So, yeah, um, I, I'm, I, um, inside, yes, I'm, I'm hoping that we do get the three points, but uh, you can never be, you know, sure, sure of anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah they've got the players, yeah, definitely. Yep, definitely, definitely. Okay, so are you feeling confident? Do you think you'll win? Yeah, highly confident we're going to win today. Yep, five nil. What about your score prediction? No, I'll say three nil. Three nil. Um, I'd be happy if they come away winning two nil, not. Right. Yeah. What about you? Uh, good three nil, three to two nil. All right. Uh, I'd, I'd like to think we might sneak a one nil. Realistically, probably a two one to you guys. So there you have it, that's how the fans are feeling, but now let's spend a little bit of time looking around Meadow Lane before we kick off. One thing to note about Meadow Lane is that it is only a quarter mile away from Nottingham Forest City ground, so although County and Forest are at opposite ends of the football pyramid, they share the title of the closest derby in English football. Therefore, we thought we'd take the short walk along the canal to show you just how close the two grounds are. So as we approach the River Trent, you can see the city ground just in front, along with the Trent Bridge Cricket Ground just behind, meaning as we spin around, you can see just how close in proximity the stadiums are. But for now, it's time to make our way into the cop end of Meadow Lane, where we'll be sitting for today's game. With the stadium being built in 1910, it definitely carries that classic football ground feel. We then thought we'd show you the fair amount of food and drink on offer within the ground. But actually, never mind forget that drink part. As we made our way to the top of the cot, we were met with a fairly decent atmosphere considering there weren't actually many in the ground yet. At our seats, we were all left sheets of black and white card to make a wall with before kickoff. But as you can probably imagine, it wasn't long before they were screwed up into balls and paper aeroplanes and thrown left, right and center. As we showed you before, you can get a pie for £3.50 at Meadow Lane, although it might be worth buying it a week in advance to give it enough time to cool down. As the stands filled up to a National League record attendance, the drums started banging and the fans started chanting. We were surely in for a great game. However, it has to be said that the game was more frustrating than anything. Notts County didn't really play like the league leaders they were as they lacked their familiar cutting edge. Yeovil were quite happy to sit back and invite Notts forward with the Magpies showing very little in intensity and urgency. Their patient pedestrian play led to nothing more than a stalemate in the end, despite a great and early opportunity for their main man, Corley Lannister. All in all, it was a disappointing result for Notts County fans as the Pies now switch league positions with title rivals Wrexham. On the other hand, it's a huge point for Yeovil Town and new manager Mark Cooper as the Glovers inch further away from the relegation zone. Hopefully, the frustrating result won't discourage new fans from returning to Meadow Lane. We still enjoyed our time here and football always feels that little bit more real at this level. So we'd always encourage you 
to go down and support your local lower league club. Anyway, thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. And let us know which ground you want us to visit next.